And today we're going to talk a, a little bit more about lip syncs. In the last video, we saw that we can save our mouths in a library and we can have any number of mouth that, mouths that we want when using our lip sync. We just need to choose the right mouth for the right um, attitude. Now, if I watch this video, and I have ever been at anything, I can hear that he doesn't have a happy sound to his to his his um, dialogue. Ever been at anything? He's got a little bit more of an unhappy mouth. And before I get started, I'm just going to say that I'm going to use all S mouths for this video. Now, to get started, I'm going to delete all the mouths in his animation. So I'm just going to cut them. Cut cells from timeline, and I'm going to expose it by pressing F5. And right now, I've sort of just got rid of all the mouth positions. Than I have ever been at anything. Than I have ever been at anything. Now, to get started, we are going to map using our sad mouths. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find our audio track. Right click on it, lip sync, auto lip sync detection. Now basically what that's doing is it's um, listening to the track and, and finding it and phonetically breaking it down. I'm going to right click on the audio track again, and I'm going to choose Map Lip Sync. And because what we want, we're going to, we want his mouth to move, we just have to find his mouth layer in here. So let's just go and find mouth. Now, also let's remember we want to use his sad mouths. So his sad, S, O, 1. And what I typically like to do is I just, instead of doing that so many times, I'm just going to put all of S, O's in here. I meant, I meant to do uh, and this, and then I'm going to just make this mouth two, three, four, five, and you can see that these are the mouths that match the library. The oo mouth was number six, and in my case, my f mouth was actually number eight. And this is just another mouth that we have that is, if a character is not speaking and you have a different mouth, um, you can always go back to it. So my m, b, p mouth, or my closed mouth, was one, two, my slightly open was three, my more open was four, my f was five, my u mouth was six, and my f mouth is eight. And I'm going to hit OK. And let's just go back to that mouth position for a second. And you'll see that it's actually decided what mouth to use. And let's just take a look. I'll zoom in on this mouth. And we'll just play back a little section. Than I have ever been at anything. Than I have ever been at anything. Than I have ever been at anything. And you'll see that it did it pretty close. Let's say, for instance, this was a happy piece of audio, and I wanted to use his happy mouth. I would simply just, when I map the lip sync, and let's try that here, right click, lip sync, auto lip sync detection, lip sync, map lip sync, I'm going to go to his mouth again. I want it to be his mouth. Uh, mouth. And we're going to do H underscore O. -O. I'm going to copy that. Paste, 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 paste. And one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and one. And now we can see that the same thing works for his happy mouth. Than I have ever been at anything. Than I have ever been at anything. Than I have ever been at anything. And his mouth is a little bit high in his face, so I can just pull him all frame, pull it down. Than I have ever been at anything. So you can see that just by choosing the let the whichever mouths that you want from your library, you will be able to get a result very quickly and easily without having to scrub an entire scene. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed these videos. 